this here is Dave Rubin and Michael Knowles. And Dave Rubin, mind you, this is an individual who used to be a staunch atheist. He might have even uh, identified as an anti-theist. I'm not entirely sure about that. But now, of course, because he's a grifter, he did a complete 180. And um, now he is going to talk about how atheism, secularism, to be exact, is not working. Let's listen. Sitting in a room with you and Clavin and Shapiro. Do you remember, Knowles, a few years back when we first started doing shows together and I said to you, I will become the furthest right of all of you people. You people, that's what I was calling you conservatives uh -huh. at the time and I was talking about... I love how, like, he's basically tacitly admitting that he's grifting here. Because what does that even mean? Like, for me to say, I will become the furthest left or the furthest right. I can't... I can't project where I'll be in a couple of years. I mean, politics, it's this ongoing process where you learn more, you evolve, you adapt with new information. So for him to just say, I'm going to be the furthest right out of everyone here, that just tells me that he's grifting. I mean, he's basically admitting it. This is extremely embarrassing, but he has no shame. I was sitting in a room with you and Clavin and Shapiro and everything else because I know what this thing is. I was in it. And, and that's why I think you're so interesting at the moment because we've really sort of met somewhere here that I think yeah. represents what the future of the right will be. You go into the book, you, you also talk a bit about religion and atheism, and you talk about John Locke and his feelings towards atheism, and uh, I'm, I'm with you there too. This, this secular, mm -hmm. this purely sec- I'm with you there too. Secular thing that we seem to be doing at the moment, it ain't working, huh? If this purely secular thing that we seem to be doing at the moment, it ain't working. Except secularism, Dave, if you'll recall, is precisely what led to you getting the right to marry. It's not the uh, evangelical Christian friends that you have now that fought for your right to marry your husband. It's actually the secular folks. So it's really weird for somebody to be making this claim when secular secularism is why we live in a society that is as egalitarian as it is today. It's not like these uh, fundies who are pushing for this shit. It's secular people. So for him to say this, it, it's so stupid and devoid of any self-awareness because, you know, in the event the secular people didn't stand up and fight for the right of uh, LGBTQ plus people, then, you know, he, again, he wouldn't be where he is today. Again, this is a former atheist. Once you become an atheist after you were a Christian, like, there's no going back, right? I think that you can convert, and this is a generalization, but you can convert from being a Christian to an atheist because you 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 read the Bible, you uh, you know, you look at the facts and and you begin to realize how ridiculous the Bible is. But like to then unlearn all of that, to unring that bell, put the cat back in the bag, it doesn't really make sense to me logically how you do that. Yeah, even, uh, uh, evangelicals make up 12% of the USA and 70% of right political identity. Wow, that's from uh, James of the Internet, or from the Internet. Yeah, that's uh, that's really interesting. That's really interesting. Uh, you got to fight for your right to monotheistic nation party. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so Dave Rubin, I mean, he continues to embarrass himself, and the dude has absolutely no core political ideology. He, he doesn't he doesn't care like for me I feel like the driving force behind my politics and my political identity ultimately is humanism me trying to find ways to improve the lives of human beings not through some sort of like sorcery or godly mechanism because I don't think that that actually works because there's no evidence for that but through through government make people uh, live better lives, give them housing, education, healthcare. But for him, I mean, it's just, hey, what can I say to appease my right-wing viewers? And it's, it's shameful. In recovery mode, my brain ideas. In recovery mode, my brain ideas. 